Welcome, Armchair Generals. This is Gamer1745 here. Been asking a lot of what you might, other games you might want to see. I'm trying to keep the focus of the channel on history gaming, but broaden it out for more than just Hearts of Iron and just World War II. I've taken all of your suggestions very seriously, and I'm looking at some other games, but one thing that's compelled me to this game I feel compelled to it is the current um, situation in the world regarding ISIS, the refugee problem that's flooding into Europe. I think it's only going to grow, and I mean into the millions, many millions into Europe, because once they see that the tactic will work and attempt to destabilize, whether it's destabilizing country like Germany, which may think it's not going to be destabilized, or some country like Greece, which is already destabilized, but dump in a million or two, well, let's say a million or five Muslims showing up in Greece without speaking any Greek, without speaking any of the international, well, very few of them, very, the international language of English, how are they going to get jobs in a depressed economy, it's going to cause chaos destabilization spread around and so if ISIS can't drive tanks into a European country and take it over if it can't launch missiles into a country and take it over it can launch hordes of people in there and of course it will hide a few terrorists which will be part of the destabilization plan so I wanted to look at the history of this and the history goes back um, the founding of, of Islam and Muhammad. Judea, Judaism found all the way back to um, Abraham, but sort of, to me, I look at it as sort of to the modern context, if you will, is Moses leading his people out into the desert, um, trying to survive and trying to establish themselves. That's the start of Judaism. Christianity is started by in my opinion, a prophet of peace, whether you believe he's the son of God or just a prophet or whatever. It's an attempt at being a peaceful religion. They're obviously, and we're going to deal with elements of Christianity being very violent, but it's founded by uh, a prophet of peace with a message of peace. Islam is founded by a warrior with a message of war. The symbol of Islam, you look at it on the Saudi Arabian flag, is a sword. Anyone who expresses the, um, the opinion that at its heart, Islam is a religion of peace, only in so much as once it's defeated by, with violence, all other religions, and every person is in essence a slave of God, then it will be peaceful on only them. So it is not a religion of peace by most people's standards. So we're going to look at it, look at that through this game. So we're going to start with the tutorial. I played um, the tutorial and a very little beyond it, so I'm not an expert of the game like I am with Hearts of Iron. We played through many, many, many times and we're, we're currently playing Black Ice 8. Um, so, you know, know what I'm doing there. Here we're going to do a bit of learning together, but like I say, I played the tutorial before, so we're going to go with this. And the events didn't quite happen as they happened in the tutorial, but there is a basis, a real basis in history to the event here. Coming up as it's loading. In the year 1191, King Richard of England was sailing to the Holy Land when a ferocious storm scattered his fleet. The Lionheart's ship safely washed ashore on the coast of Rhodes, but many of the other ships were wrecked off of Cyprus. Isaac Comnenus, a Byzantine despot who ruled the island, imprisoned the survivors and sent his army against Richard, who had ordered their release. Some of your followers have been taken captive nearby. You must lead your small band of crusaders inland and free the prisoners.
Welcome to the battle tutorial for Lionheart, King's Crusade. Here you will learn useful information and tips. We're just going to go ahead with this. Use the W, A, S, and D to select a unit. Left. Infantry. Next to the mini map is the right. Right click wherever you want your strength. Infantry. Right. They have Richard the Lionheart. We'll get more into later Crusaders. The Crusaders. Crusaders are sort of the heaviest tree. Basically the best fighters so far that I've encountered in the game. Except for sort of hero type units, which Richard here represents. Yes, my lord, infantry. Great. Robin Hood movies. He very much disliked England. He didn't speak English. He wasn't English. He was Norman. He liked his Norman holding more. Um, he very much felt uh, compelled to go on to the Crusades. They were not a um, sometimes modern leftist attacks on the Crusades is uh, some sort of plundering expedition. I don't think they got rich. Tom um, Richard did. He ended up very poor from the Crusades. They cost poured huge amounts of money into it. Bankrupting kingdoms and estates to do uh, to, to fund the military activities of the Crusades. If you right-click on an enemy unit, your soldiers will march. Infantry. Just like King. So. Infantry. Uh, there were um, knightly orders that did make yes, a lot of money. I'm not saying they didn't, but. Infantry. Yes, my lord. This is the third crusade. This which we're playing. Infantry. It's part of now on the Infantry. All right. But these were done because they really felt they need to. Uh, religious duty, if you will. Yes, my lord. As they saw it at the time. very important aspect of the game, and it can be a deciding factor in the outcome of a battle. You may have already noticed the... Units that suffer a significant and sudden loss of morale will become shocked, which is indicated by a white. Don't allow getting in there close the enemy. to lose the big picture, if you will. The 
it is. They were somewhat divided, we were able to keep them from overwhelming us. And I do believe they sort of made the tutorial simplistic and sort of confidence building. So I'm not thinking of why I did this, so I'm not winning because I'm so free. Cyprus at this time was nominally part of the Byzantine Empire. You can see from those of you familiar with the flag. Units can develop traits. Soldiers from another ship have washed ashore in the bay to the west. Now that you have rescued your loyal vassals, you have a considerable force. It should be enough to break through the enemy lines and reach the remaining survivors. These heavily armored soldiers are powerful on the open field and are well protected against arrows, but are weaker on difficult terrain, especially in the woods. They are also weaker in storms, at night, in fall, or against... Our new units. Light infantry units are a viable choice. They're calling vassals or light infantry. Infantry. These guys are open. Shield right. units. All right. All right. The various terrain types can also Yeah. Hopefully you guys understand what Where, the way you're facing here. Reflects the face of your troops. Obviously, you want to keep your troops face towards the enemy. Or as the front of the Claymore mine says, front towards the enemy. Besides the type of units deployed, the outcome of a battle is influenced by several other factors. The proper use of formations is of utmost importance. The most basic formation is known as the horde. So these over here are the various formation choices the different genotypes can have.
this is a combination. Well, it seems to be somewhat um, strategic, or somewhat tactical, though it's sort of mission guided. I don't know on the big map. Often we'll make the decisions versus the game will we'll direct it. I'm using the mouse wheel to right. go up and down. Right. Thank you. 
grab them. gathered all of your available soldiers, but the army of the so-called Emperor of Cyprus will soon arrive. You must build your line of defense. The cliff that separates the bays is an ideal location. If you can hold... During battle, you will at times enter the deployment phase, which enables you to rearrange your army on the battlefield. In this phase, you can place your units anywhere inside the outlined area. Since deployment can significantly influence the outcome of the battle, it is advisable to survey the terrain carefully to explore all the topographical details and important locations. You can also create control groups, change formation, or manage the auto attack option. Okay, we're going to um, end this session here and have the next session, this larger battle coming up. I think that'll be good for time. Thanks for viewing. Please post your comments. Really appreciate any comments posted. And also thank you for liking the, view, the, the videos. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Thanks a lot.